We are just getting into hurricane season, and the hype is unfortunately already underway. What's going on, guys? Certified meteorologist Jonathan Keg is back with you here to tell you beware of the hype. Know where to get your weather information from. I'm talking about the tropical waves. There have been some crazy headlines based on tropical waves. These things can be impactful, and I'm talking to my friends, especially in the Caribbean. We've already had some gusty winds, some very heavy rain brought on by one tropical wave. But the hype with these things has just gotten out of control already. We're going to talk about that. All right, some ways later on in the show to stay updated to get some good information. We have a newsletter here that I'm going to show you how to get visited by me in your inbox as we break down the tropics this year and talk about how you can watch some live streams. And then at the end of this video, we're going to actually look at the month of June here, talk about some potential development as we get towards the back half of June. So we're going to look a little bit long range here scientifically, meteorologically. Before we get into that, if you do want to stay updated on the weather as we are venturing into hurricane season, hit that subscribe button for me. Give it a thumbs up. I'd love to know where you're tuning in from anywhere across the Atlantic Basin. And uh, would love to know where you're tuning in from and what the weather is doing. We're going to hop into it. We'll talk about other ways that you can stay updated on hurricane season uh, on this channel and, and beyond that. We'll get into that a little bit later on. Also, as we uh, break all this down again, just beware of what is out there. So first and foremost, I want to be clear. I've got a bunch of things circled. The thumbnail had some things circled. Those are the tropical waves. I want to be clear, and that's why it's right there. No development is expected over the next two days over the next seven days here's the deal tropical waves happen all the time about this year there have been crazy headlines out there that three tropical tropical waves develop out ahead of hurricane season all this all that yes there are waves out there yes they can do some damage especially in the caribbean where they still have all of that moisture and gusty winds and things like that but none of these are expected to develop and that's my beef with people that are saying watch out for these waves certainly impactful we're going to talk about those we're going to let you know whenever they could cause some damage but again a tropical wave it's a cluster of thunderstorms here it's a, an elongated area of uh of low pressure that can spin up tropical depressions storms and hurricanes but the environment has to be conducive. So want to be clear about that. Here's another look here. This is the satellite-derived radar. So one thing that we can do for you guys that live in the Caribbean, minus Puerto Rico, we do have a radar that I can show you out of Puerto Rico, but I don't have access to the radars across the Caribbean because of different government things. But what the satellite picture does here, it kind of derives what the rainfall will be like under the cloud cover so we can watch you guys closely in trinidad and tobago and in saint lucia and parts of the windward and Le leeward islands into into uh dominica into jamaica uh belize parts of central america we got you covered and there's the heavy rain as of uh the early stages of friday that was one tropical wave so again especially with terrain involved they can be impactful but that's no reason to scare anybody you just have to be kind of prepared for it okay so we're going to keep you covered here through the hurricane season without the noise with the sound science with the sound meteorology as well i want to show you the model forecast here when it comes to those things uh basin wide this is going to be the gfs forecast and again we still have some of that tropical moisture uh developing right on through here this is going to take us through next friday but you see nothing really got going we have a couple of cold fronts notice that little spin here so we'll watch that maybe that's another cold front uh that's making its way itself way out into the atlantic and really at this stage of the game at this time of the year it's the cold fronts that come off the mainland here and we'll take a closer look at this in just one second but there is the front or fronts do come off there and then they can spin something up and then something right around central america known as the central american gyre that is a focal point for tropical development late may and especially to the first four to six weeks of the season as that semi-area, a semi-permanent area of low pressure kind of hangs out over Central America. Something else that has been hanging out is the Saharan dust, uh, especially for my friends in Trinidad and Tobago, now getting into Puerto Rico, uh, to St. Lucia, Dominica, Martinique, Windward, Leeward Islands. I know we have a bunch of islands uh, in the Caribbean. Let me get a little bit closer here. Um, and you can see the footprint of 
where the dust currently is. I know it's been really hot for you guys. There's been some heavy rain brought on by that one tropical wave, but for the most part, we've had the dust come in, and it is really, really dusty. Again, this is also a yearly occurring phenomenon, so this is not to hype it. This is not to scare anybody um, as the dust gets thick, especially in the Caribbean. I have that model forecast as well for you, and as we kind of put that into motion, you can see the brown representing the dust kind of where it goes. This is through Sunday afternoon, this upcoming Sunday. So we do have the dust kind of lessening for us uh, into the Windward Islands and into Trinidad and Tobago kind of lifting more into Puerto Rico, uh, into parts of the Dominican Republic, into parts of Cuba, into Jamaica, and then eventually this kind of dissipates as it pinwheels around and then lifts right on up. We do have another round coming through early next week, Tuesday and Wednesday. You see some pretty thick stuff even um, getting back to the Leeward Islands, uh, to the Virgin Islands as well, uh, Barbados, uh, into Puerto Rico. So just keep that in mind that more dust is coming again. This is pretty common this time of the year. It doesn't make it any easier to, to deal with. I know it's been pretty thick as well for parts of the islands, and then it kind of pinwheels right on through. Again, maybe a, a little bit of a break, or at least lessening of the dust as we get into Thursday and Friday of next week. All right, before we get into kind of the long-range pattern, I wanted to give you guys uh, an opportunity here to sign up for my Tropics Watch newsletter. Scan the QR code on your screen if you're watching this on a bigger device and you have your phone handy. All you need to do is open up your camera on your smartphone and then put it put it to there, put your camera to that QR code. That is going to take you to clickorlando.com slash newsletters. I am based out of Orlando, so that takes you to our website there. There's going to be a bunch of different newsletters. Find, find the one that says Tropics Watch. Just put your email in, and then you're going to get alerted every Monday this will drop. We're also every Monday going to have a live show where you can comment on YouTube um, on our channel here. Uh, all you need to do is be around at 11 o'clock every Monday during hurricane season. And again, we're going to have all that stuff posted ahead of time so you know where to find us. But you can join into the conversation. We're going to have that interaction as well. So again, that's going to be called Tropics Watch Live right here on the channel. And then also sign up again, clickorlando.com slash newsletters. That way I can keep you updated throughout the course of the season right there in your inbox. You don't have to go looking for that information. And again, it's going to be a lot of the stuff that we talk about on the daily videos kind of written in, in text form, and we'll have kind of snippets as well. As we move through the month of June, this is typically where we see the development. I mentioned before those dying cold fronts that work its way off of the U.S. mainland. We also have the Central American gyre here, and then this is kind of the hot zone. If June is going to light up, that is going to be the area that typically happens. That's significant because there are indications, as I flip my screen here and go to my tropicaltidbits.com screen, a great website, great resource. Um, if you are a weather nerd and want to get some information to kind of look at for yourself, what we're looking at here is kind of the rising motion forecast. And to kind of direct your attention to the right of the screen, this is the whole world kind of laid out. And notice where the green is here. This is... Uh, that's the fourth week of June. So I'm going to go back here and show you if you're from the Florida area or parts of the deep South, uh, it's been really, really dry. That's where the Brown is. Okay. It represents kind of sinking air. When air sinks, it's harder to get thunderstorms going. Look for the green. When the green comes in, that means that the air is going to rise. What we're exactly looking at here is the upper level divergence. When air escapes upstairs, 30, 40, 50,000 feet above your head, it's got to be replaced by something at the surface. And when air converges at the surface, it rises. So what we're looking at here is the anomaly for rising air, the third week of June. And we clearly see there's a big green bullseye here representing the anomalies are pretty significant, the Eastern Pacific. So as we get to the second to third week of June, we would expect some tropical development, at least the potential for tropical development in the Eastern Pacific. But then as we get to the third and fourth week of June, you see that green start to migrate over into parts of Central America, especially parts of the Gulf of Mexico, and then kind of push itself over to the Western Caribbean and Southwest Atlantic. So that's going to increase rising motion in that part of the world. So we would start to look for increased thunderstorm activity around Central America and into the Western Caribbean, into the Gulf of Mexico, which again, given the right environment, certainly the water temperature is warm enough. We could be looking at some tropical development for this last two weeks of June. Again, you can't pinpoint where exactly it's going to go 
weeks in advance, but we can look at the bigger pattern to talk about where we're going to be looking for the potential for some tropical development. The other thing here is, as we break this down long range, is the Madden-Julian oscillation. I talk about this a lot, especially in hurricane season. It's a convective blob, if you will, that goes around the globe every 30 to 60 days. It's almost like a mini El Nino or La Nina kind of thing where it has implications way down the road as this cluster of thunderstorms kind of moves on through. We can get into that another time, but the big deal I want to I want to take away here is these lines represent the ensemble forecast for where the MJO could track, as we call it for short. These numbers here, these quadrants kind of, 7, 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, those are the different parts of the world. For our purpose for hurricane season, we're going to be focused on 7, 8, 1, and 2. When those lines and when the Madden-Julian oscillation moves through 7 and 8, we typically see increased thunderstorm activity in the Gulf and Western Caribbean. When it gets to 1 and 2, we typically see the rising air and then the potential tropical development move closer to the Lesser Antilles and then 2 closer to Africa. So as we watch that go around the wheel, that's when we can kind of give you guys a heads up and, and talk about where things could develop and then given the proper ingredients and environment could develop and could thrive. Hopefully not, but that's where we can at least kind of gauge on where things are going to be favorable for environment. So seven kind of matches up. And I also wanted to kind of show you there are six, it goes through June 14th. So that's right on the money with that. So we have a couple of different things kind of suggesting that and the MJO would be the reason for that increased forcing that you see there, that rising motion, that green. So that's really our first big pulse uh, moving through. And just kind of show you here, I went out even further, different models here, but it kind of loops around 7 and 8 through the end of June. So that would suggest further that the back half of June, we could be looking at some tropical development coming somewhere in the Western Caribbean, Gulf of Mexico as well. Again, way too early to tell. This is not to scare anybody by any means. It's just to kind of be, okay, we're using the science, we're using the meteorology and the long range tools, what we have to kind of get a gauge. All right. At this time, we could at the very least have some increased thunderstorm activity that could turn into tropical depression storm or hurricane given the ingredients and given the environment present. Alrighty, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Again, this is not a time to be scared. It's just a time to be vigilant, to be prepared, and to know where you are getting your weather information. Again, we are a trusted source here. Uh, the links in the description of this video, that will take you always to clickorlando.com. Again, we have hurricane headquarters here, and we got you covered no matter how you slice it. ClickOrlando.com slash newsletters. You can sign up for that Tropics Watch newsletter. I'm going to also post a link again in the description and in the comment section. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Again, if you found this content helpful, we'll love it if you join this weather community. Hit that subscribe button and we'll catch you next time.